I can't sell upgrades if I can't find supplies. I'm ruined. Finished. Well, it looks like your contact with the Lotus Assassins will be bad for your reputation, but good for our goal. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's Hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces and a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's Hand is not what he seems. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know. But his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding. Or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. Thank you for listening, but I want more than caution. Neither of you understand what they are capable of. You aren't doing much to add to our understanding. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. This is not helping anything. Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. And surprisingly, she's right. You've made contact with the Lotus Assassins, but haven't shown them why they need to fully accept you. The Executioner wants to see you excel in the arena. Progress far enough, and he will gladly recommend that you be recruited. If you prefer, you could still seek out the Inquisitor by speaking with Scholar Dun Gao in the Scholar's Garden. We've gone over this. Death's Hand is using the prisoners who should be working on the wall to construct some sort of personal army of golems. My father probably knows something, but not the true danger of it. I need to show that Death's Hand intends to seize control. The Lotus Assassins act for Death's Hand. There has to be proof of his evil intent in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. That is where you need to go. My father? What do you want to know that isn't already public knowledge? Emperor Sun Hai is well known and well loved. Death's hand is wearing away at that reputation, however, and I need to stop him before it goes too far. He has been present for as long as I can remember, but he only rose to prominence after the end of the long drought. My father was very caring when I was a child. Now he is cold and distant. I know Death's Hand is corrupting him somehow. I will answer what I can, but you have other things to do as well. My father? What do you... Death's Hand is... I wish you luck. Once you have gained the trust of the Lotus Assassins, we will plan how to proceed. Yes? How can this humble Bun Master assist you today? I think you need somebody like me to keep your camp in order while you're off invading the fortress. I can make sure there's some hot soup waiting for you. Turtle egg soup, perhaps? Now, there's a thought. Where did I put those turtle eggs? My prescient pretty has an uncanny knack for derailing my plans, in case you haven't already noticed. I have tried several times to leave, but it always fails miserably. Some say there are spirits out there that masquerade as people, and I suspect she may be one of them. She has my soul, and there's nothing I can do about it. One time, I tried to sneak away while she was delivering a special order of buns to her uncle's family. As I started to leave, I slipped on some oil and broke my arm. Still, I put my arm in a sling and was continuing on my way when I was run down by a rogue bun cart.
When I came to, my wife had returned and was in a foul mood. Apparently, everyone she had visited died from food poisoning. But why not her? I mean, I'm sure she ate at least one of the buns I sent. I am saying no such thing. It is simply my lot in life to be given into the care of a demon whose soul sustenance comes from sucking the very life from my body and soul. Uh, soup, anyone? As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. Always happy to help. What do you need? I'll be honest. I can't think of anything I haven't said already. Dawnstar has been telling me about two rivers, the Swamp and Gal the Lesser. I was sorry to hear about your town. You're a woman with a knack for finding trouble. I didn't say it was a bad thing. We're kindred spirits, you and I. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why? Seriously, why are you doing this? Details aside, you're fighting the Empire as a whole when you oppose the Lotus Assassin's Death's Hand or the Emperor's Will. I know all about your village and your master, and that explains some of it. What it doesn't explain is your drive, your strength. What gives you that? I wonder if fate cast this burden upon you, or if you rose up on your own to shoulder it. History will probably decide. I know you're going to follow Silk Fox's plans to find a way into the Assassin's Den. It won't be easy, but I'm confident we'll succeed. It's what happens after you find a way in that has me worried. What can I say? You're a source of constant excitement in my life. I'd hate to lose that. All kinds. Trust me. Let's not get too far off topic, though. This is important. I know, I know, but never in their lair. Never in that place. I knew men and women who were drawn to the Lotus Assassins. They went into that place to prove themselves, as you intend to. And the few who made it back out were... different. They acted like they didn't know us, or just didn't care if we lived or died. It's hard to say if there's even a difference to the Lotus Assassins. I know you'll be fine. The Assassins will be lucky if you don't bring the place down around their ears. Just be sure not to tip your hand before you're ready. That's all in the future, though. We should keep it what we're doing. There's a lot left to tackle before we're done. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. What? What do you want? Nothing's changed since the last time you asked me. Unless I passed out. Did I pass out? No, how could I? I haven't been drinking. Tried that once, but it didn't work out. Prefect Mu Hong pledged his daughter Mishan to me after I cleared his district of bandits. She wasn't ugly, so I agreed. The night of the wedding feast, I got more than a little drunk, and in the morning, I woke up in the Prefect's bed, next to the Prefect's wife. I got up and went into my bride's room, and there was a strange man in her bed. I killed the bastard and was about to kill her when Mishan came into the room yelling. Apparently, I had just killed her sister's husband, and was about to kill her sister. I tried to tell her it was an honest mistake, but she wouldn't hear it.
The brother-in-law's family was pissed, and so was the prefect when he found out about his wife. They tried to subdue me, so they could send me to prison. I killed them all swiftly. None of them suffered. Still, Mishan wouldn't leave with me. She kept crying and complaining about her family. Family life just isn't for me. Whatever. What do you want? That strong lady? She's the princess? I didn't know that women could be that strong. We're always supposed to be weak and left behind. But there's you. You're strong. And a lady as well. I think you two should get along and be friends. We should meet her again. Is there anything else you want? Okay. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? Busy, busy. No time for chatty, chatty. What? Not now. I'm busy with repairs on the dragonfly. Come back later. Off you go. I'll start planning some redesigns for the dragonfly. Maybe, maybe floats made of air bladders. Sheepskin, of course. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. Is there something I can do for you? Your dalliance with the Lotus Assassins could be disastrous. I cannot force you to do otherwise, but you may eventually force my hand. I will answer if it suits me. It is a foolish idea. You do not understand the seductive nature of the assassins and what they do to recruits. It does not take much to make a person forget who they are. With a little effort, they can be pushed past any morals they might have claimed. Cloaked in service and honor, even the most depraved of barbarity soon becomes unremarkable. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but their fanaticism will still affect you. The rot that is Death's hand permeates the complex. He was made our leader during the raising of Dirge. He replaced Sun Kin, who along with the glorious strategist, never returned from that campaign. I did not serve Death's hand long, but when the orders came, he never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty, and he instills that in his Lotus assassins. That is how so many were driven to kill without cause, and why I decided no more. There was more to that event. You are right to sense it. But I have kept my silence for so long that I must carefully consider the repercussions of breaking it. I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it. But I must also know that those demons will be put to rest, not exploited. For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Master Li was the glorious strategist, so much could have been resolved one way or another. In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student to find a way to protect what I cannot. So you claim. I am not accustomed to words having such weight. We should... We should resume your mission. You have far to go. Goodbye.
I know you did it, Ling. It's just a matter of proving it to the minister. Good day, miss. Are you the new investigator I sent for? No, I can tell from your attire that you're not from the ministry. Oh, this is terrible. Everyone I send for disappears. There are powers at work here that are beyond my means to control. I am Prefect Jitong. It is my duty to ensure that convicted criminals in the city are sentenced appropriately. But there are complications with my current trial. I have in my custody a suspected slave trader, Chandler Ling. But one of the high-ranking ministers is trying to get him released, and he wants me to convict another man. The man they want to accuse, Scholar Sun Tao, is a friend of mine, and I'm certain of his innocence. I need you to find proof so I can present it to the Minister of Justice. Really? You will help me? Thank you. Thank you so very much. I need to find proof that Ling is the guilty one, and by so doing, exonerate Song Tao. If I can't prove Ling's guilt, I'll be forced to sentence Song Tao to death. But every time I ask someone to discover the truth, they disappear or turn up dead. Our best lead is Zi Bao, the last person known to have spoken with Ling before his arrest. But Bao knows me and my men. He won't talk to us. I've known Scholar Song Tao for several years. His uncle and my father were good friends. I only wish I knew why the governor wants him accused of this crime. If you want to know more about Song Tao, you should speak with him yourself. Chandler Ling is a well-respected businessman and merchant here in the city. Until recently, I had no reason to suspect him of any wrongdoing. When I investigated Ling's shop, I found a valuable knife that I had purposely entrusted to one of my men, a man who has since disappeared. Chandler Ling had a knife belonging to a man whose body couldn't be found. That was all the evidence I required. I have no idea. The two men were seen together before we arrested Ling, but I have no other information about Zi Bao. He spends most of his time in the heart of the Empire Tavern, and he doesn't seem to have dealings with anyone else besides Chandler Ling. I know if I went to speak with him, I would get nowhere. But you could speak to him without raising suspicion. I wish there was something concrete I could tell you. They're like a whisper on the wind or a shifting shadow. You think you see something, and then there's nothing. Whoever is behind the slavers must have a great deal of power. To remain that invisible is a hard thing to do. Good. Look for him in the heart of the Empire Tavern. It's upstairs at the Imperial Arena. Don't scare him away. If we lose him, we lose our last connection to Ling. Do we have time to deal with this? I didn't agree to join you so we could solve everyone else's problems. I don't know why you're wasting your time. I'm obviously innocent, and yet you still want to risk yourself needlessly. I'm no fool. Those men haven't returned, and I can assure you it isn't because they've decided to take a holiday. Chasing after criminals is dangerous work. Obviously, there are risks involved. Why would you risk yourself when even the local minister seems content with the scholar's arrest?
What's to tell? I'm a merchant and quite a good one. My clients are usually very happy with my goods. You likely haven't heard of me simply because I have a very elite clientele. The average person on the street cannot afford the items I sell. Other than my occupation, I suspect we are very much the same, you and I. Though I happen to be a little more restricted than you at the moment. Doing? I wasn't doing anything more than I usually do in a day's work. I was selling my wares to a few of my preferred clients. Prefect Jitong was one of them. The next thing I know, guards confiscate my goods and tell me I'm suspected of slave trading. It was likely the most ludicrous thing I've ever been told. Of course, the prefect claims that some of my items belong to his missing men, but that doesn't mean I took the items from their lifeless bodies. In a given day, I meet with several buyers and probably twice as many sellers. There are always more sellers than buyers. My job is to determine whether something is worth buying, not whether the seller is worth buying from. If I see a bargain, I don't care who the seller is. Suffice to say, those items could be from any number of sellers. I don't recall who sold them to me, but that certainly doesn't make me guilty of slave trading. I can honestly say I had never met or heard of the man until he was arrested. He's obviously not wealthy enough to be one of my clients. Apparently, he spends a good deal of time with the poorer folk in the city. No doubt that's why he is under suspicion. Doesn't strike you as a bit odd? A scholar with all the benefits that position entails, choosing to spend time with the poor people. It does seem a little suspicious. No more than you've heard for yourself, I'm sure. They are a myth, a rumor, really. Nobody has ever seen them, and nobody has any proof they exist. And yet, there is still a belief that they exist. Madmen terrorizing the poor and abducting the helpless. It all seems very... superstitious. Abducting a person isn't like picking someone's pocket, you know. There would be evidence, signs of a struggle. But people will believe what they want to. Of course, do what you need to. If you discover anything, it will only prove my innocence further. Good luck. So you think you can free me? Prefect Jitong has sent many good men to their deaths trying to free me. I hope you won't get into similar trouble. Well, that's what Jitong fears. I have no reason to doubt him. Besides, why else would the men not return and their belongings suddenly appear on the market? Pure coincidence. It's not proof. It's purely circumstantial. Anyone will tell you that. At any rate, it seems likely that's what has happened to the men. I feel terrible for them, but I have my own problems to deal with, as you can see. I am a scholar, though still a junior scholar by most regards. I assist the philosophers and scholars with their work. It's a good life, though I can't help feeling guilty sometimes. The scholars and philosophers have many privileges, while so many live with so little. I spend my spare time in the poor quarters, helping where I can. If I have any extra money, I use it to help the people there. It's not much, but I like to think it helps. Well, nothing really. I'd never heard of him before this. I heard what Ji Tong said about him, but that's about it. He seems decent enough, I suppose. Uh, 
I don't know. I was just down in the poor quarters helping a family with some repairs on their hut. I was leaving their house when the guards came for me. They told me I was suspected of abducting people from the poor quarters. I told them it was ridiculous, that I only wanted to help the poor, but they didn't listen. I admit I spend time in the poor quarters, but I don't try to hide it. I'm there several times a week, in fact, usually in plain sight of everyone. Nothing. I've heard rumors in the past few months. The residents in the poor areas were getting worried, though I never knew anyone who disappeared. One of the girls I helped out in the poor area said her uncle had disappeared, but I never met him. She was devastated, of course, and she blamed the slavers. But it was all just speculation. No one had ever seen anyone being abducted. There wasn't even evidence of struggles or violence. <sighs> I don't know what else to tell you. I understand. If there's anything that might help you find the slave traders, I will gladly tell you. Please, don't give up until you've found them. What do you want? Do I know you? Really? Lots of people know me. So what? I'm a little busy right now. I've got a bowl of wine that needs drinking, so why don't you just find someone else to bother? What slave traders would that be? I've never heard of anybody trading slaves around here. Leave me alone. I have nothing to say to you, so why don't you just keep moving? Yes. Yes, that is. More than I'd see in a month. I might be able to take you there. You'll have to pay me now, and I'm not promising you won't get killed once we get there. It's your life, friend. No refunds either. Follow me. Zibao, what is the meaning of this? Summoning me to this place was bad enough. You know I can't stand the stench of these beasts. I've already dealt with the last shipment of slaves, and with that damned prefect poking into our affairs, we have to be extra cautious. Now, there's an unknown quantity in this little meeting. Just who are you? Song Tao, isn't that the fool who's taking the fall for Chandler Ling? Well, you've overheard your evidence. Too bad you won't get to tell anyone. Ziba was a fool to bring anyone here. We can't afford anyone nosing into our affairs right now, and you've heard too much. Get her, boys, but don't kill her. We'll get quite a bit of silver for this one. Leaping Tide! Ha! Storm Dragon! far enough. You're far better than the last dog who dared cross us. Maybe I was hasty in my decision to attack you. 
I have an eye for raw talent. That helps when picking slaves, but it comes in handy in sizing up potential allies. Who are you? And why are you here? You're clearly too skilled to be one of the fools hired by Prefect Shitong. So what business, or grudge, do you have with us? You're one of them, are you? Another fool like that scholar Song Tao, always thinking the poor are worth saving? You're better than that. You've just shown me your strength. Any poor wretch who had the discipline to fight like you wouldn't let themselves be enslaved. Someone like you deserves to work with me, not oppose me. I have a friend who could use your help. And I'm prepared to pay for it. The way I see it, we have two choices. We can finish this and see who is more skilled at fighting, or we can come to an agreement. No doubt you're here about a certain merchant who's managed to get himself caught I tried to deal with that problem by purchasing the aid of a high-ranking minister. Perhaps I can find a price that's right for you to also turn a blind eye to our little situation here. Our little enterprise gives us deep pockets. If only I had a silver coin for every time I've heard that. Come then. Let's end it. sent Ho Chong, one of his lap dogs, to oversee the trial. I hope you learned something, or I'll have to proceed with Song Tao's sentencing. He took you there? That's incredible! That's remarkable! Well, what did you find? Have you discovered evidence that exonerates scholar Song Tao? That doesn't prove a thing. Pieces of paper can be bought and sold just like anything. Just like anyone. I'm afraid you're quite mistaken, Chandler Ling. This proves a great many things, including your guilt. I never suspected the slavers were so well connected. Let me see that. Well, this certainly looks interesting. I... Ah, suppose Scholar Sung Tao can go free then. And you, Chandler Ling, will come with me for sentencing. It will be quick and harsh, I suspect. This sort of thing will not be tolerated in the Empire. It's all a lie. You don't know what you're doing. You're all making a very big mistake. Thank you. Thank you for risking yourself to help me. If there's anything I can do to repay you, please ask. You are too kind. I have no real way to repay you. 
However, I do have some items you might be interested in. They're not here, of course. Come and find me in the Scholar's Garden, and I will be glad to show you what I have. I'll see you there. Goodbye, and thank you again. Well, at least that's out of the way. Now we need to find evidence of our own. Unless you've forgotten completely about Death's Hand and my father.